It wasn't me that chose to have the home birth. It was the baby. They say every time you have a birth, a new you is born. And I definitely think that it's not the birth of a baby, but the birth of mum, a new mum as well. It was him that wanted it that way. And he just relayed that through me. So everything that played out for the birth was what he wanted essentially, not as so much as what I wanted. Baby wanted Tyson and I to go through a journey of learning, evolving, growing and coming apart and coming back together. So I think the birth was more than just a, an experience, it was actually part of a spiritual awakening, which can sound very hippie-like, but it truly was. It was a transformation process for Tyson and I as a couple and as parents to go to another level of growth. I felt I wasn't in this world, but I was still of this world. It's a really hard one to describe. Tyson brought in that real love, connecting, masculine energy. And then I would have our Māori healer who would come through and she would bring in a whole nother world of spiritual experiences into it. She was doing things that I don't even know she was doing, but I was feeling them on a whole nother level. Having my mum and auntie there, my mum brought in that motherly love, mother-daughter connection. When I was pushing out the head, I was doing a self check and I could feel a bubble. And I looked around and I said to my and doula, It's in the sack still. You can, I need, I need you to like pop it off. Can you kick it out or something? And I really felt that I wanted to pop this, this bubble, even though I didn't know if there was a foot following. And so finally I had just made the decision, what it, no matter what she said, as a mum, my natural, maternal, earthly, animal side of me said, nah, you wanna pop that, you're gonna pop that, you, that's what you feel to do, then do it. And yeah, I got my nails and I just started tearing away at it. When baby came out and Tice was the one to deliver him, the emotions I was going through, definitely relief. <laughs> feeling him move once his head was out and then feeling his whole body just shake my whole body, I knew I just needed to really dig deep. I knew my trusted my body, I trusted baby, this was his way. And uh, when he finally came out of my body, the relief was just incredible.
for us to be able to have some of our closest family present, it honestly meant the absolute world to us to have um, the right people there at the right time for Bubs to come through how he wanted. To hit a boy, for me, first time um, birthing a boy, it was a miracle for us. Having Rogue there was incredible because she held space in her own energy and her connection to baby and Tyson and I has always been very, very close. She's always been right in between us when we sleep. She's the clinger baby, so um, to have her be a part of the birth journey was just remarkable. I feel that the medical system has its place and that as women, as mothers, we should never intend on disrespecting the medical system because I do think that it has its place. But I also think there needs to be more awareness around the fact that women should be presented with more choices and women should be informed and that comes down to that individual person. No one birth is better or superior than another. So me giving birth in the pool doesn't make anyone that's had a caesarean any less or any higher. Both mums are absolute champions. Both went through their own journey and their baby was born how it was meant to be born. If you could go back, is there anything back to a couple of days ago when we had him, you know, fresh out of is what would you change? Only having the other two kids there. Oh. That's it. Everything else was great. Oh, that's nice. It's fine. It's just having all kids there to experience it together as a family. Yeah. So. And um, if there's anything that you could say to our future self what would you say just try and be in the moment because sometimes with so many kids we get flustered that everywhere just try and remember that time is what you get with them you've only got a amount of time with them so enjoy it while you can just remember that dad loves him and i'll always be there for him no matter what he thinks or where he's at Me now. <laughs> Why? You know that. You know that anyway. I thought you'd be like non sentimental. <laughs> you know I'm I know you're sentimental. <laughs> oh, we're going to be yeah. screwed on our wedding day. <laughs> that was all. That's good. That was good. That was all. That was all I had to have. <laughs>